Like whatever it sounded like. Gosh. It really was right. so tinny back then. All right, PS2 for the game one. <laughs> both both players starting things out by pulling the banana, but Infernape uh, opting opting to just go in and instead be the one to press the advantage first. <laughs> True, the Diddy Hive Mind working as intended. Listen, listen, it's just respect at this point, right? We can't play if there aren't bananas. The, the Diddy Handshake, as it were. Yes. All right, but okay. some great weaving from Peko, able to get that uh, monkey flip on Infernape. And right now, the percentage is definitely looking in Peko's favor. 88% on Infernape right now as he has to make his way back onto stage. Definitely we're right about this aggression. Infernape just double damage here. Ooh, yeah, and using that mobility as well as that pretty much just forced 50-50 of the monkey flip grab to get some good percentage. Being said, though, the percentage is starting to rack up for Peko. 78% right now. Infernape's starting to find his footing. Infernape really having to take some notes here and press the advantage just a little bit more. I noticed that, like, when Peko was off stage, Infernape opted to just go center stage and get a banana. Yeah. I'm like, eh. Should very, very risky uh, barrels from ledge by Infernape, especially with a... A character as good of, like, burst range as Diddy Kong, you know, Peko's going to be ready for that. Uh-oh. All right. Especially Both in just flapping. a first stock situation. I feel like that's kind of a mix-up that you want to save, like, for your last stock. Right. Intentions are running high, but right now, Peko, not phased at all. We're trading bananas right now. That's true. Battle of the bananas. Uh-oh. The Z-drop to try and catch the neutral getup, but Infernape is able to make it back. Now trying to set up some ledge trapping of his own. Okay, easy claps. All right, back to the ledge trapping. I love wow. the, the, the aerial reaction banana. from Peko and able to get that second stock. Now Infernape still unable to find the first one. It looks like uh, Peko, if they keep this aggression up, they are going to take a clean uh, three-stock game. Maybe. I mean, the percentage is continuing to rack up. Forward air definitely not going to be doing it from center stage. And the banana pressure just bouncing off of the shield, keeping Infernape unable to set up any sort of meaningful ledge interaction. Uh -oh. oh my god, the reaction from Peko to throw the banana as soon as Infernape tried to pull his. Monkey flip finally out there. Okay. Infernape just... I feel like Infernape's just letting Peko get away with too many things. Has I mean, to be aggressive. I mean, I don't know, because Peko has been reacting to the aggression so well. We saw, I mean, even right there, even though Infernape did get the stock, Peko still reacted to the monkey flip. Oh, my and, God. Ooh. Okay. Thought he was going to do it again. All right. We're seeing him wake up. Let's go, Infernape. Infernape definitely, definitely looking a little more awake right now. That being said, though, right back into this sort of mid-screen neutral. Peko is the one with banana in hand, which means Infernape not going to be able to find his own. Uh-oh. All right, monkey flip back onto stage, and I think that was wow. Peko's banana. nice mix up. Yes, it was. Unfortunately, Infernape not even able to convert a kill off of that. Oh, what patience. Ooh, all right, leave from Infernape. Still able to find the up smash on Peko, but not able to find the kill just yet. Infernape's last stock is bleeding. He's going to have to find another one of those, like, like dare loops that he found earlier in this second stock to really start mounting this comeback. Oh, well, Peko's got a little bit of red on him, too. Yeah, and oh. be doing it. <laughs> Both players just leaned back out of frame. <laughs> like, oh. We got to see two walls. Look, it's so hard. You're playing against your main. There's always a bit of pride when it comes to that, right? Like, it's like looking in the mirror. It's like, am I as good at this character as I think? I mean, so at, it, it hurts a little to lose. At that point, you know, there's no, there's no blaming the game. No, in no, a that's all. You. There's no like, oh man, we fit sucks. Whose fault it is? All my money is gone. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> all right, but game two. Here we go. Peko already out with a very, very aggressive opening. Absolutely, and the dash dancing as well, keeping in uh, the monkey flip kick range, keeping Infernape uncomfortable at this ledge. I mean, I'm uncomfortable just looking at these monkey flips actually hit every single time. Bane of my existence. 
It's it's a pretty good move. Oh, all, right. all right, Peko now being the one having the two bananas, but trading back once again. I like how none of them have their bana own bananas at any time. It's always the others. <laughs> yeah, you see, even right there, Peko tried to pull a new <laughs> one, but Infernape was holding on to it. Actually, that is a good strat. Just hold on to their banana. They can't use it. Can't pull out a new one. Don't throw it away. It's useful. <laughs> Peko just running back and forth, throwing the banana, trying to catch something on the way down, but Infernape not biting and getting these little chip damages here and there, but it is looking rough for Infernape's first stock. The down tilt uh, up smash, not gonna be finding it in as well the forward air either. Oh, Infernape trying to make something happen. 150, it is good rage. Ooh, but it's also good death percentage. Yep, another whiff punish coming out from Peko, catching Inf Infernape actually being the one to swing first. <laughs> When we run up, when I run up to your <laughs> shield and I shield and we hold hands and look at the neutral together. Do you ever miss Nani or? <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually. Aww. Oh boy, here it comes. Yeah, big damage coming in, but spacing just outside of that monkey flip. Infernape able to get a what good a punish catch. as well on the roll in, too. Alright, pop gun. Trying to make things happen. Not able to find the barrel, and Peko still holding on to this first stock, almost lapping Infernape in percent. Almost Ooh. about. And nope, finally answers back, taking that first stock. Two stocks apiece for the first time this set. Oh, Ooh, okay. Wow. No, not this is able the to grab. Get the grab and the SDI out of the um, out of the dash attack. Peko able to avoid any like huge punishment. But that being said, though, that is 50%. Definitely nothing to sneeze at here on this second. Not at all. Wait, is oh, we going? A bit of a mistake here. Going, going on an adventure down oh. on the bottom of the PS2 platform. I feel like he was trying to bait him there a little bit. Definitely, definitely something goofy down Listen, there. If I haven't seen it and he's not dead, it works. Uh -oh. I mean, we're we're just right back to this neutral. What a reaction from Infernape to use the uh, invulnerability to avoid that up smash. Okay, bananas in play. Bananas in the other person's hand. Oh yes. no! Peko able to get that second stock with the confirm that he was looking for previously on the platform. Infernape managing uh -oh. to avoid death the uh, previous. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> brawl, we, where are you? We at? almost saw some Super Smash Brothers brawl. <laughs> oh my god! Yo, imagine if Smash Ultimate had glide tossing. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> trading the Diddy handshake once again. All right, finally, P Peko pressing advantage really hard as fast as they can. All right, death, 47% extra. Not bad, not bad at all. Fernape looking to close out this game, bringing it to a game three. And Fernape definitely with a bit more uh, a bit more momentum than he had in game one. But is it too little of a shift too late? We have seen some amazing plays here, especially with the grab game. While Peko has been aggressive with their fists, their feet, he's been impeccable with his grabs. Yeah, and Fernape as well, just having some really great confirms, especially at the lower percentage with the, uh, like, uh, banana into grounded dare. Infernape taking a few notes from Peko, using monkey flip to their advantage. Oh, oh my god, what a delay! Okay, neutral air. A little short monkey flip there. Banana back. <laughs> Trading the banana back and forth. Here, I think you dropped this. No, no, please, please, it's yours. Take it. Please, I, I insist. insist. <laughs> oh. Oh, the Aww. double banana slip into I the charged F smash. I see what Infernape was trying to do. He did a lot of those like delayed get-ups to try and like read a reaction mm -hmm. from Peko. It worked the first time on uh, the platform, not the next two times, and Peko was expecting it at that point. Not a bad habit to have, especially because most people don't do those delayed get-ups, but Ooh. oh no, he rolled in. I apologize. Yep. Ah, Rolled in, and that is going to be Peko moving on 2-0 to fight Fawn in Losers Finals. I did have somebody tell me the other day that most New York players tend to roll in towards the character instead of out. Really? Yep, and I'm starting to see that more and more often. I'm like, oh no. We're like books. <laughs> <laughs> well, it takes a New York player to know a New York player, I suppose. I guess I want I want to see some some studies on that. 
Okay, there, look, listen. You college kids who are taking your finals right now, I, I know you're at home watching the stream, all right? This, <laughs> and this you're is like, your... finals are starting, and I still haven't picked a, a topic for my thesis. Exactly. This is this your is... thesis right here, the psychology of roll-ins in Smash, <laughs> or defensive options, maybe. Look, there's a cap.